What's up, KMG men? Week number two of Battle Plans, and I do hope that you watched our first week, as obviously that video is not up right now. So week number two, we're going to go straight to hell. Well, in a matter of speaking, you know, we all, if we're honest, we struggle with sin. And a little less than two years ago at our first Kingdom Men's Gathering in Orange County, Victor Marx did an invitation at the end of the Men's Gathering, inviting men to come up and get right with God. What you're about to see in some circles may be a little bit controversial, which I don't get at all, but there are certain denominations that are concerned about praying a certain way. And all I can tell you is what you're about to see is the realities of men coming forth and once again surrendering to Jesus. It is one of the most powerful moments we've ever had at one of our Kingdom Men's gatherings. We invite you to watch it, take notes, listen closely to what Victor Marx shares during this important time of renewal. And we hope and pray if you're not right with God, do that right now as you watch week number two of Battle Plans. God bless you. So Heavenly Father, thank you so much for today. Thank you for all you've done. There are some of us here, God, that simply just don't know you. And they need forgiveness of their sin. They need to have your spirit in them. They need to be able to battle forces of darkness. They, they need to be set free and be sanctified. I pray God by the power of your spirit, if there's anyone here that is sensing that even now, that you would speak to them and give them the courage to respond to you. Let's bow our heads. Gentlemen, or those of you watching, if you think God has spoken to your heart today, maybe not even through what I've just shared, but the other men, or he's been drawing you and you go, Victor, it's my time to surrender my life to the Son of God, to the one who died on the cross for me. I need to be forgiven. I need to surrender my life to him. If that's you, I want you to raise your hand real high so I can see who you are. God bless y'all, God bless you. God bless y'all, God bless y'all. Wonderful, praise the Lord. I'm so glad you're responding to the Holy Spirit prompting your heart. He loves you, he will forgive you, he will cleanse you, he will put his spirit in you and you will be a man made to war, made to lead, made to be the person God has desired for you to be. If you're here, you can put your hands on. If you're here and you say, Victor, I think I got a stronghold. I, I think I'm caught up in believing a lie that has just oppressed me and kept me down or kept me addicted to whatever. And I feel like I just need to be set free. Would you pray for me? If that's you, raise your hand real high. Frank, look at this. Look at these men. The, these are honest men looking for freedom. You can put your hands down. Man, there's too many. Um, I don't know. It, let's stand up right now. We're gonna, we're gonna pray. It's the Holy Spirit that does this work. But while this song is played, I want you to come forward. If you raise your hand to receive Christ, or to be prayed for, to have a stronghold broken. Just, just come forward and we're gonna pray. Don't hesitate, come down so we can get this done. Awesome, that's great. Y'all, come on, yeah, squeeze forward. Man, this is, man, amazing. Holy mackerel. Lord, thank you. This is good. Hey, guys, this is good. This is good. Now, before I pray for y'all as other ones come down, y'all gonna make me a promise. And Frank, you gotta let us know what God does in your life. Do you understand? I'm prepping to go back to Iraq. This may be my last time here. God may take me home, you know? Or I may find a land deal so good, I just start building condos over there. You know, become a land baron, who knows? 
let us know what God has done in your life. Do you understand? You can contact us through our email, contact Frank. You need to share with us the fruit of what God has done. Raise your hand if you promise to do that. And if you, <laughs> hey, th does this mean you're not gonna have any battles? No, but it means it's a level playing field. Because how many would not want to fight with your hands tied? How many like to get them broken and then go crack, crack, enemy? That's a lot, but it's, it's, it's fun. So the Lord's going to do it. I knew, I knew, my wife knew, our people knew. We had thousands of people praying for today. And again, I thank God for people like Frank who had the courage to step out and do this. I thank God for every speaker. But the Holy Spirit is, it's about the Lord. It's about the cross, right? It, none of us here are any better than y'all. We're just one beggar telling another where to get the food. Is that right? That's it. Don't y'all ever put us up in some high esteem because if you hang around with me long enough, you're gonna go, well, that was disappointing. <laughs> but you will know I love God <laughs> and I rely on his grace and ability to forgive me. Because one thing he showed me, and you need to remember, it is never about perfection. It's about direction. But look at this. Every time, I'm telling you, God wants to set people free. And Lord, I pray that churches, I pray that Bible teaching churches, that pastors and leaders, God would get over the fear of engaging the demonic so that their people can be set free. God, I pray there would be no more spirit of fear on these people. Lord, I pray there'd be a spirit of boldness because that is you, compassionate but bold. You're the one that came down, Lord, and did the search and rescue for us. It's an example for us to live by. I thank you, God. I'm gonna pray for you right now. First of all, those of you who need to be saved, all right? Um, if, if, if you feel like you need to give your life to Christ or come back, just repeat this prayer, okay? Dear Jesus, thank you for today. Thank you for having your hand on my life. I agree with you. I'm a sinner. Thank you for dying on the cross for me. Please forgive me. Fill me with your spirit make me the man I really want to be. Thank you for being my savior. And today, I make you my Lord. Give me a hunger and thirst for your word. And it's in your name, Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. That's awesome. I've never done this in a, a big crowd like this, but I'll just, it, it's never in a formula to defeat the enemy, is it? It's not in a formula. He's given me a way, an approach to pray for people with strongholds because time is always of the essence for me. I mean, I can remember way back when it was all, I was just like, Lord, I don't have time. I prayed for people on a plane next to me during the descent. I don't even, I go, hey, I think God wants me to pray for you. Do you believe in evil? Yeah. Okay, if there's any demons like following you, you want to find out? You can do that? Yeah, it's pretty easy. <laughs> They're like, okay. And to prep that, I'm sitting there in wrestling in my chair and my wife goes, what is wrong with you? I go, I think God wants me to pray for this guy. She goes, well, pray for him. That's my wife. She like totally... Can you imagine? Thank you. <laughs> Be careful. Got to use your wife to put a thumb in your back and go, oh, that's my wife. Going to fight ISIS or help, you know, not intentionally, but, you know, going to get kids. I'm like, honey, this could be it. I'm heading out. She's like, okay, well, praise the Lord. You're following his will. Come. She's like, come back with your shield on it, but go get it, buddy. My man, go get it. I was like, all right. <laughs> so I'll just do a group prayer. 
And we'll see if the Holy Spirit does some great things for strongholds, okay? All right. Hey, it's by faith, so believe. Believe, all right? In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray for every man represented here that believes there's a stronghold assigned to him, that there's one or more demons that has been hassling, lying, and just perpetuating a falsehood that's turned into a stronghood and is keeping him from being who God has declared him to be. Lord, these men are frustrated. Lord, they, they, they learn the word, they go to church, but they still don't have victory in areas of their life and are starting to doubt if it's even possible. Jesus, your blood on the cross was enough for it all. You overcame the forces of darkness. You ridiculed them publicly. You made a spectacle out of them, Lord. You raised people from the dead and you yourself were raised from the dead. The same power that raised you dwells in us now, Lord. So I pray in the name of Jesus, any demonic force that's been assigned to any man here or anybody watching, I pray it be broken in the name of Jesus. We command you by the authority of Christ to leave now. You take your lies, you take your, you take the junk that you've used to keep this people this man, this person in bondage, and you go directly to the footstool of Jesus Christ. Today, we don't wanna know your name. We don't wanna know the lies. We don't wanna know when you came. We just command you to leave in the name of Jesus Christ, no longer to have access to this person's mind. And Father, I pray for the blood of Jesus to cover this man's mind, every man's mind right now, to seal it, Lord, with your beautiful love, and God, I pray for your Holy Spirit to cleanse that part of their mind that has deceptive thinking, that, that has perverted thoughts that have turned natural and normal. But Lord, it's not because you're in us and you don't like perverted thoughts. You don't like porn. You don't like looking at it, God. These are your creatures. So Father, we yield ourselves to you. We accept that you're the one that sets us free. And it's for freedom, Lord, they just had us free. So we want to walk in freedom and boldness and power. We, we want the power of your Holy Spirit to share you with others. God, help us not care what other people think, but in love, do what your Holy Spirit directs us to do. God, I pray for these men's spiritual ears that they would be open and they would hear not only you directing them, comforting them, prompting them, but I pray when other demons come with their fiery darts, I pray they would pick up their shield of faith because they hear it coming and they recognize it as a lie and they declare, I'm not believing that anymore. That's not who I am. That's not, that's not even who I was as a believer anymore. You lied to me and I don't have to believe your lies. I pray they pick up the sword of the spirit and use it aggressively, not just this defensive stuff men preach. Lord, a sword is to be used aggressively. And I pray they would use aggressive prayer against forces of darkness. And Father, finally, the sphere of influence and the lane you've asked these men to run in, I pray they would run like wild men, like stallions and studs, God. Running, 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 God, for your glory. And we know we're all gonna end up heaven. So God, help us to fulfill the callings on our life as husbands, as fathers. And I pray for reconciliation in marriages right now. Lord, marriages that have been destroyed or been trying to be destroyed by the works of darkness, we, we say no. We say no to you, Satan, you don't have any more room. And I pray these men, that their minds would change in the way they think. I pray they would love more, but I pray they'd have a boldness more, God. And we pray for our children that are astray. God, we pray you call us to stand in the gap as a head warrior, the head priest of our family. And I pray these men would. I pray they'd they would reject passivity and accept responsibility. And God, you just outfit them with new armor, the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth, Lord, the, the boots of the gospel, Lord, the shield of faith, and that sword, Lord, I pray, God, we would use it for your glory and that there would be fruit that lasts. It wouldn't be just another men's time of impact, but it would be God-glorified outcomes for the rest of our lives here on earth that history moving forward would be changed. God, you would get the glory. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Well, I'm not quite sure what to say after I sat and watched that for about the 10th time other than 
Men, if you're not right with God, you can do that right now. I know that scripture clearly states that anyone that says yes to Jesus and invites him into your lives, he'll reveal himself and make himself known. If you've never given your life to the Lord, or if you want to recommit, just right now, say these simple words with me. Lord, I know I'm a sinner, and I know I need a Savior. After watching the Victor Mark's altar call, God, I want to get right with you. And I surrender in my free will to you right now. And Jesus, I declare you as my King, my Savior, and my Lord. Please lead me in my life. Thank you for dying on the cross. And I move forward now as a new man in Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Let me also say, as Victor shared in that moment, uh, he invited all the men to make sure and reach out to us at KMG. Truth be told, very few of you have. If you're watching this video either online or on our app, Please reach out to me, frank at kmgministries.com. Let me know how you're doing. Let me know if we can help you or serve you in any way. Do not isolate. Even though that's kind of the popular thing to do these days, do not. Reach out to me. Reach out to us at KMG. We are here for you. Men, let's move forward in Christ. He's got a plan. Let us follow through and surrender to his plan. Amen. Next week, week number three, huge surprise, that's all I'll say. Uh, if you are new to this, Friday's at noon, we put up our battle plans through Sunday night at midnight, and then the following week, Friday at noon. If you've not downloaded our KMG app, please do so. Go to the app store, kmgministries.com, and God bless you. Stay strong in the Lord.